Didn't hit it. Hi guys, my name is Quentin White. I'm the national sales manager for Highland Ridge RV in the open range lineup of travel trailers and fifth wheels. Today I'm down here in beautiful, what is normally beautiful, southern Utah, Nielsen RV. Um, bringing by today one of our brand new uh, toy haulers, our little HT21. We're calling it the Highlanders. This is our Highlander series. Um, this one in particular is very unique, and it's why I'm, why I'm here today showing it off to these guys. In the past, with these racked units, they would always be squared off here in the front. And as a result, all you could do was side load. Well, that was great back in the days of four-wheelers, but as we know, everybody has now gone to side-by-side. -side. It's what we all want, those big side-by-sides. And as a result, because those side-by-sides are a little bit longer, we could no longer side load these anymore because they would hang over too far on either end. So what we've done is now bring this rack and angled it out to the tongue so that we can now load more like a snowmobile trailer, if you will, and load almost straight on. Now everybody can load their side-by-sides. Really a big deal. It's an industry first within the RV industry. Something that we're really, really excited about and that's going over really well. The cool thing about this Highlander series of uh, travel trailers is that we haven't made any differentiation between what we always do with our open range product. It's still insulated over the top, just like every, this little Highlander is insulated the exact same way as our, our most expensive fifth wheel that we build. The way that we heat and enclose the holding tanks, which is different from everybody else in the industry, um, is the exact same on this little Highlander as it is on the most expensive big fifth wheel that we build. Um, real metal trim all the way around both the front and the back caps. No more vinyl, silly vinyl insert molding like what you'd see on mo almost every other trailer on the market. You know, to be able to offer up this two-year warranty like we do, there's a lot of things that we have to do different in order to be able to support that two-year warranty. Because to be honest with you, as well as we think we build these, once that second year's worth of warranty starts costing the manufacturer money, you can almost guarantee that that warranty is going bye-bye. So we have to do a lot of little different things to make sure that that second year's worth of warranty isn't going to cost us a ton of money. Stuff like this metal trim is one of those things. The fact that we build with a PVC roof. I know we're down here on the ground where you really can't see this right now, but within the industry, everybody uses one of two things, either an EPDM rubber or a TPO material, both of which you have to get up and recondition or reseal every single year. It's got a nice warranty, 12-year warranty, but you have to literally get up on top of your roof and basically paint your roof with this sealant every single year. And if you don't, the warranty's void. Not only that, but those EPDMs, the real whole reason you have to get up and reseal them is because the sun totally deteriorates that roof over time. Just chocks and, and crumbles. And uh, what it does, it ends up leaving big black streaks down the side of your trailer as, as, it's, as it condensates up there and then runs down the side of your trailer. So beautiful thing with this PVC stuff is number one, it's 97% UV resistant. So it doesn't chalk, it doesn't deteriorate in the sun like the others do. You won't ever have to get up and recondition it and it'll never leave black streaks down the side of your trailer like the others do. Beautiful material. Costs us a lot more money to build with it, but it's one of those things that we do in order to be able to give you that longer two-year warranty. You notice as we just right up front here as we start to move around the trailer, so many of our customers, especially the women, were telling us, listen, we hate this floppy screen door that never shuts right, the handle always breaks on us, and uh, they said, is there something that can be done with these screen doors? So what Randy, our, our president, did, ingenious idea, and what we were the first ones to do it, was to do it completely away with that floppy screen door and put it right in the door for you. It does a lot of things. All of our gals are telling us they love it because, number one, they can shut it, they can lock it from the inside. They feel much more secure behind an actual real door than just a screen door. But if they want to, they can still pick this window up and let the breeze in. And the really big deal is it lets a lot more light in on your kitchen right where you want it. Really, really a nice feature. Costs us more money, but we don't have the warranty problems with the screen door. Again, we, we spend the money up front to make sure you don't have the warranty issues after the fact. Another industry first on this little trailer, you'll notice it's got a rear queen slide out. So that queen bed is, is slid out the, the back end of the unit. 
Well, there's several manufacturers who have done this in the past. However, when you do that, you're not able to have slide outs on the sides because when that slide out comes in, there's no room for these other slide outs to come back in on each other. Randy, our president, is kind of a guru when it comes to this stuff, but he's figured out a way to not only have that rear queen slide, but to also have a slide on both sides of the trailer. So it really opens this little guy up. I mean, the, the box of this, this trailer here that we're standing in is probably only 20 feet long. But because we're able to put three slide outs on it, we can really open it up huge. We've got the queen bed up front. Of course, the little couch here makes into a nice full bed. And then two bunk beds up front here. So this will sleep a crew of people for being such a small little trailer. A couple of nice features that we've done in the bathroom. Costs us a lot more money to build with this radius shower door. Most manufacturers use a door that opens like this. Well, for big fat guys like me, it makes it almost impossible when we're here in the, in the bathroom because there's no maneuverability. We can't open that and then wiggle around to get in. So what we did is go with this radius shower that opens up real nice this way. It doesn't interfere with, with your maneuverability in here. It makes it real easy for getting in and out of the, out of the shower. It's got a real nice latch for when you're headed down the road.